Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Expert Mode with me, the Chattering Camel. Oh, yes, yes, indeed, I have returned once more. And I have fully upgraded, well, I guess I haven't fully upgraded, but I have made quite a bit of progress with my armor. All of my dark pieces have a protection for an unbreaking three, and they have been empowered to their max. And oh, they are so great, so great, so great. Like, check this out. So, okay. I have speed on the legs. The speed's maxed out, so it's three potions of swiftness and, like, 30 levels. It's so, like, this is a pretty quick running speed. Like, take these off. Pretty slow. Put them on. Pretty fast. It also stacks with this thing. So it's like, build a road of just this concrete and you go crazy. It's amazing. Another thing I did is the dark boots. I've in, uh, increased their jump to three. And the jump three, uh, go figure, gives you a triple jump. One, two, three. And you get pretty high. Pretty high. Pretty, pr 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 pretty, pretty, pretty high. It's like, I don't even think I need a jetpack anymore. It's like, woohoo. And then, can I jump? Nope. Yeah. So I was like, it'd be pretty cool for something. If I can find some place where I don't want a jetpack or don't need a jetpack. Hmm. So let's see. Um, I've also upgraded to the energetic jetpack, which is a tier three jetpack, which is a lot better than that leadstone jetpack that I was using. So one of the reasons I decided to go down the conductive iron to energetic tree of jetpacks is because it's not as annoying for me. Because some reason, some reason, this is probably just some stupid thing about me, is I don't want to work with, let's see, work with, where is it? Hardened, hardened thruster, reactant, uranium. I don't want to work with anything radioactive. I don't, I don't like IC2 machines right now. I really don't. Because I screwed up with an IC2 machine a couple days ago. I don't think I told you about this. I messed up... I did something with my ore washing plant. I guess I overpowered it, which I figured out why, how, or how. That I know how it happened, and I resolved that issue, but I'm just still... Bleh. So I overpowered it, and it exploded, and it destroyed my canning machine. It destroyed it, of, of course. It destroyed my compressor. It destroyed all my stuff up here. It even destroyed my inventory panel. So think about it for a second. It destroyed my inventory panel, and I had to rebuild an inventory panel. Where do you think all my stuff to build the inventory panel was? It was in it was in here. So I had to go manually look through all of the drawers. Uh, granted, I was able to do the search function, so I was still able to like find what I need, hit control, and then okay, it is it is over there, and I had to go find it. But it was like, ugh, it was so bad. It was so bad. But we are good now. We are fine. So today, today I was thinking, I want to try building a different type of mob farm. Different type of mob farm indeed. Just because I, I felt like being experimental. Like, it's not going to be a progression at all. It's just going to be, I want to see how this works, kind of thing. So when I was looking at ore, because I was trying to figure out how, like, what ways I could, like, get more iron ore out of, or iron ingots out of my iron ore, and I... It's what led me to finding out that I should use a sag mill with dark steel balls. It's a lot better than my stupid slag mill clock idea. And I came across. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Da, da, da. No. Where are you? No, no, no. Uh, came across this the crusher. I was like, the crusher? Isn't that this thing? No. No, it's not. I looked it up online, and I was like, okay, this crusher thing is pretty cool. It sounds pretty cool. And it's a block where you actually have to, like, place blocks down, and then you have to right-click it with something, which I think I have. It's an engineer's hammer. Engineer. You have to click it with this thing. So what I think I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make one, and I'm going to make it someplace, maybe up in, like, up in that failed attempt of the mob farm, just so it's out of the way. It's so dark. Let's sleep. Just so it's out of the way, and because I, like, I don't think I'm actually going to use it for anything seriously, because I have 
other machines that would do things better, I guess. Like that sag mill, it's gonna crush it or better. I hear a dog. One of my dogs is whining. I wonder why my dog's whining. So I might let's like put it up there for now. I know it needs power, so I'm just gonna be testing it. So I can just use our other regular old energy cell. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to get the stuff I need to make this thing, and I will meet you guys up there while I make it. I'll be right back. Okay, we are here, we are here. And it, uh, this stuff took a while to get. It was kind of expensive. That was easy, but I used up a lot of my iron. <laughs> I used up so much of my iron, and I probably used too much of my iron to make these steel fences. I, I was just being lazy to, you know, yeah, I was just being lazy. So, let's see, let's pull up the schematic of how I'm supposed to do this. So let's see, it is a 3 by 3 by 5 so let's do, hmm, no, it's not going to be centered anywhere in here, so whatever, let's just pick a spot. Pick how we're going to do this. So let's put, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do it right here. One, two, three. So three light engineering blocks in the front. It's actually, yeah, I can't sleep yet. Then it is the scaffold. Then it was two of these, one scaffold. Then the rest is scaffolds. Then it is, oh, I have too many scaffolds. Well, that was a waste. Then these again. Can I sleep yet? I'd rather not have something spawn up here with me. Granted, I'm in armor now that uh, could defend myself, but uh, I'd rather not uh, have a creeper come and go boom, and I lose this stuff, because this, like I said, is not cheap. So it's like that, and then it's the steel. I fell into the steel, okay. Whoa. I am not used to how fast this uh, jetpack is. Then it's hoppers on top. Let's see, where do the hoppers go? Hoppers go like this, I think. Ooh. God, so quick. Can I? Thank you. I don't have enough hoppers. Crap. Okay, a quick trip back to base. Since it's really close, got myself three more hoppers. Okay. Now, where do I click? With this hammer. Here? 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 Where do I click? Where do I click with the hammer? Is it this? Do I left click? Hmm. Oh, there we go. I just have to click the center. So this is the crusher, huh? This is really cool looking. Ooh. Those look dangerous. So let's see, I'm assuming this right here is where I plug it in maybe? Cause it looks different, or over here. That might be the output. Where does things output? Okay, get the energy cell. Let's place it, let's try here first, I guess. Okay, it's, nope, it's actually charging, okay. Do I have anything to throw in there? Can I throw cobblestone in there? Oh, that is loud. That is really loud. Now where does it, does it expel stuff there? Actually, I don't think cobblestone, I don't think crushes cobblestone to anything. I don't think I have anything I can test this on. Hmm, let's go find something to test it with. Let's go back over here, I guess. I think I have some iron ore. I should, probably should use this. I think I have some iron ore in stores that I could use. Jump and jump and jump. Oh man, oh goodness. So quick that I'm actually lagging. It feels like I'm lagging, it feels very framey. So let's see, iron ore, iron. Grab you. Let's grab, let's grab a chest too. Chest, okay. Now let's go test this bad boy out. Oh, this is so, so good, so fast, oh. So fast that it lagged. All right, let's put, I'm really assuming this is where it outputs, so I'm just gonna put that there. And then let's throw one in there like that. Did I get anything? Oops. Hmm, 
Maybe that's not where it outputs. Oh, it outputs right here. Okay. Oh, so it does grind st Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. All right, let's close this back up. I don't know. I was stupid. I don't know. What the hell is this, then? What is this supposed to be? Whoa. Okay. So next, since I want to make this into a mob farm, I'm going to have to bring some cursed earth up here, I think. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking... So you kind of do it like this? Maybe have the cursed earth, like, on top of this... This uh, cobblestone slabs I'm putting down. And then have fans from... Let's see, fans? Fan? Are, they any, or is there anyone here? Fan? Fan! These things. This thing's pretty cheap to make. And they're pretty, pretty useful. So I'm thinking I'm going to try using that as the way to push the mobs into this. So I'm going to get a little bit more progress done, and I'll see you guys back in a few minutes. At least I hope it's a few minutes. All right, we are here, and it is slightly done, I believe. So what I did is I built a little box around it, and I covered it up, and I think it's a too high, because I don't really need Endermen spawning in there. And right now, I'm just waiting for stuff to spawn on that cursed soil. Oh, there's one. It's a witch. Oh. Hmm... Okay, I might be able to fix... Oh! Oh, go on. Fall back in. Okay, I think I'm going to need to put an extra... Oop, extra pair of blocks. Yeah, I'm going to have to put an extra pair of blocks around. And maybe fans on these sides, too, to blow them in. Because it's not working well. The fans back there are working perfectly with blowing them towards me, though. So that's good. That's very good. So, like, I just have the three fans right here with that all powered up. Hmm. Mm hmm. Also, I got some dark glass made up so I can actually see what the heck's going on. Oh, that is so loud. That is so awesome, though. I love it. Am I getting the loot? I'm getting the. Ooh. The fans are blowing me away from here, too. Hold on. Let's see. What else could I do? Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to try to figure out what else I can do. And then we'll see how well it works after that. Okay, guys, I am back, and I think I got this thing sort of figured out. I can't figure out what I'm going to do with these spiders. I can't. So, <laughs> this isn't, like I said, this isn't necessarily... Oh, that is so loud. I need to turn that down. Where, which one? Let's just turn the master volume down, I guess. But, like... There's nothing much I can do about the spiders, I don't think. But everything else... What is wrong with this creeper? What is going on? This creeper should not... Hey, now. I've been watching you guys. This is the first time I've seen you do this. Okay. So this thing works, but it's not without its own problems. And, um... And, yeah, it's still a funny way to think to die. Because they saw that they, they died pretty well. Pretty funny, like... Is that funny? I don't know if that's funny. Definitely not the most efficient at all. So, I think it's bugged. I think that guy's bugged. The spider's staring at me. Kind of weird. Oh, wait, what? Oh, 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 wait, what? I don't even know what's going on. Like, I don't know how it's fighting the fans so well. But hey, it works. It works well enough. Oh, that was weird. Oh, hey, there we go. Yeah, it works well enough for what I wanted to do. I just wanted to see how, how it could work. This is a pretty dumb design. I threw it together pretty quick. So there's probably ways we can make this a lot easier. Probably just like have them drop into it somehow, maybe. Maybe it's something like a lure into it. I don't know. But as it is, this is something I wanted to like see how it worked. And I wanted to see... I just wanted to play around with the Crusher because... I never, I never got to experience how the crusher works before, and it's pretty cool. And like I said, it's, it's I don't need a mob farm, so I don't need to make this better. <laughs> I leave that to anyone else who wants to make one like this. My grinder works, or my yeah, my grinder, yeah, my grinder works just fine. Anywho's, I think that's all the time I have for today. I've had enough fun uh, tinkering around and designing for now. Anyway, I might come back to this later just for fun. But thank you all for joining me. And if you liked the video, please hit like. And if you liked it enough to subscribe, 
please do. Oh, the lag. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, the lag. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like. And if you like to not subscribe, please do. I think I already said that, but I said it again for good measure. And if you have any comments, feedback, suggestions, or questions, leave it down in the comment section down below. And until next episode, my friends, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.